Hello, this is week 2 of me studying machine learning and documenting my journey. Thanks for all the support in the first video. It was nice here uh, reading all your messages. So this week was all about linear regression and chapter 3 of the book that I'm reading. Here is what I learned. I mostly focused on theory, specifically on simple linear regression and multiple linear regression. The main difference between them is one uses a single predictor and the other one uses multiple predictors as the name implies i also learned about the least square method the residual sum squared and with it you can estimate the coefficients beta i and with the estimates you need to assess the accuracy of the estimated uh, coefficients by calculating the mean the standard error very which is the variance the confidence interval prediction interval and also using hypothesis testing with t-test and the f-test and these two will also help us on assessing the accuracy for the model of the model aka how much the model fits the data we have using some methods uh, residual standard error the r squared statistic they both of them use the explained and the unexplained variance rss and tss so yeah you better understand them and I also studied deciding on important variables with some classical approach approaches before I dive in into the variable selection into later chapters chapters uh, forward selection backward selection mixed selection I've read them and yeah I understand them clearly right now uh, and I also studied the qualitative predictors for regression regression mostly and <laughs> not mostly it only uses quantitative predictors so yeah here it teaches you how to fit them to fit the qualitative predictors into regression uh, there is the only with only two levels and there is uh, more than two levels and how to interpret them and understand them right now I want to talk about the main problem of this book this book is great it explains everything clearly and uh, it's uh, good for beginners but yeah sometimes I just want to know how these formulas came from and how to derive them and just a bit more details and I noticed something weird they avoided all linear algebra and matrix operations especially in uh, multiple regression which is really important and weird they missed that out so yeah with that uh, I've studied matrix form for the multiple regression and deriving the estimators for both the multi and the simple linear regression deriving the mean and the standard error deriving the confidence and the prediction intervals intervals and also reading more about the confidence versus the prediction intervals and uh, some key details between them and for that i suggest this great playlist on multiple linear regression by stats for everyone it teaches you how to derive a lot of uh, relationships and formulas and also how to use the matrix form for the multiple regression trust me it will make your life much much easier I've also included my obsidian notes it got everything that I've studied this week and some more details and explanations if you want uh, to check it out I uh, upload it on my github uh, yeah so yeah give me a start and uh, now uh, on the end I just wanted to say uh, like the math you need for uh, this chapter uh, probability and statistics you need the mean the variance and the standard deviation like a good understanding and intuition on them confidence interval and hypothesis testing you don't really need a lot of them but yeah it's it's good to know uh, and also t and the f distribution and also i would add the normal distribution calculus you only need it in deriving the relationships and the formulas uh, down below, that i mentioned down below and uh, also linear algebra you mostly need it for multiple regression and i highly recommend you to study multiple regression with matrices better than the approach the book uh, goes to okay so now the remaining stuff from the chapter 3 that I didn't finish uh, there is the nonlinear relationships the collinearity the comparison of uh, linear regression with key nearest neighbors on the applied side and so on some exercises I will try to get these done in the next two or three days two or three days and yeah uh, to start with the classification chapter and yeah thank you for watching see you next week